Okay. So I finished putting in um, all the code for um, this website to make it work. Okay, because I made each image its, indivi its individual image. Um, it's the middle header, the middle um, bar. This is the main container. Okay, and this is now text. And I'm going to show you how I did all this. This is all text now. Um, these are all individual images okay and basically what I did I'm gonna go back to uh, my illustrator file and in illustrator um, the div ID is labeled as the number sign the number sign or the pound sign uh, the div ID the name of each uh, each section so basically what I did is inside the header I broke down the header to little tiny div tags and the same with uh, the footer and the main image but this image right here I kind of kept the same but let's go back to Dreamweaver let's go back to Dreamweaver if I can find it there we go oh, this thing is my nerves. okay um, This is the div ID header, and inside the div ID header, I created a div uh, logo holder. That's this box, and I, uh, a, a social media holder. That's this box right here. That's all this. Beep. See, right there, and I, I even put a comment so I can know where it ends. Um, the CSS, and I'm going to send you some information on how to write the uh, cascading style sheets but let's go let's look at the header the header is written like this it's the header the logo I'm sorry um, I found something simple here you go menu bar let's, let's talk about the menu bar it's written like this it has a width a height a font family a color and this is just for the text when it says color is just for the text margins you have to put all the margins in there 14 um, and the margins work from the right top bottom left I think that's how it works and the padding if you want padding on the right so uh, it is written like this the uh, the div tag that we name with the dollar sign inside of two brackets you want the width or the what you want to happen to call out colon and then the value and then the semicolon acts as a like a period you want to stop there then you want to go to the next one the height semicolon the value and uh, I mean the colon and then the semicolon uh, that's how it usually is written I'm gonna go over that in a little more detail but right now concentrate on uh, slicing the uh, your website into pieces as if it was like this and we will go over the HTML and the CSS um, at a later date because it's a little more in-depth and um, that's pretty much all I have right now.